Okay. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for joining us on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I don't think there is a coincidence that we come back to this topic on Valentine's Day um, because today we're going to continue on talking a little bit about sickness and uh, Jesus says uh, the only solution for sickness is healing. The only solution for illusion is truth. And the only solution for a world of fear is love. And, mm -hmm. and that is today. You know, it's not just today, but it's what is symbolized of love is a state of mind. It's the attitude that we can, we can have in this moment in our mind. And that is very healing. But um, for those who have joined me and us on Sunday, um, you probably remember that in our little video, um, Calico was still in Mexico. I was here and we had a little discussion on the video, but now she's here, she is with me. <laughs> so yeah, what happened to Calico? It was profound. Because <laughs> I just want to um, give those who, ha who didn't join us on Sunday a little bit of heads up. Uh, what happened was I was uh, going to do a video about sickness and um, Calico was coming, flying over the next day to prepare for this retreat around sickness and she got sick on that day. <laughs> so she was going to cancel her flight um, and I called her in on, on, the, on the day while we were doing the live streaming. And now she's here, so I want to I wanna know what happened. The whole thing was just, I, I, all I can say is I feel like I'm in the middle of a massive miracle. And it's not done yet, but it, it started on Sunday when we did that Facebook Live. And I was really upset. Um, you know, ticket had been purchased, plans had been made, and... I'm feeling like I can't even leave my room, let alone get in a cab and do an international flight. Mm -hmm. And um, and I was pissed. I, I shouldn't say that, <laughs> but I was angry. I was really angry that you know I've done so much work and here I am sick again and interfering with plans that I've made to extend, which is what I really wanted to do. And so I really went deep into deep prayer about it because I really got the decision to. to I was diagnosed with stage four uh, uterine cancer that had metastasized to my lungs. And um, I was in hospice and I really worked with what David's been talking about of really finding the decision. And he's just talking about what's pure and literal in A Course in Miracles. And so I really went deep to find the decision to, to create, or I didn't create it, but to have cancer in my script. And um, really finding that, you know, it, it, when the Trade Towers came down in 2001, I moved to the mountains outside of Santa Fe. I bought land, didn't even have an address. There was no, I just moved out to the mountains and I chopped wood and carried water for 10 years and I was peacefully dying. I mean, I really, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I can't deal with this. There was complete resignation on having any ability to mm -hmm. change anything in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I went away to die on the mountain. And I really saw that decision as that's what started that whole process leading up to cancer. And so I really have come a long way with it. And so when, when Sunday happened and I was sick again, I was like, oh man, where, what am I missing here? I'm, I, there's a piece to this puzzle I'm not putting together. And I, I emailed you this morning from how is healing accomplished in the, the the manual for teachers. I reread it, you know, just, I've read it thousands of times, but this time it was an even finer focus. Mm. And it was, and I sent it to you. It was like, it, they were speaking about people that are seeing themselves as healers, mm. that many people don't get healed for fear of not dying. And so I'm sitting there going, oh my God, you know, part of what I've been holding on to is 
okay, I saw the decision for cancer, but I still have a, feel like I have a tumor in my system. So I'm recreating real cancer on a regular basis whenever I feel it. And there is this desire to leave the illusion as soon as possible. Suzanne calls it flashing out. Well, I've been wanting to flash out. It's like, okay, I'll wake up just enough. Just enough to, you know, get conscious, be here for a while, and then I'm flashing out. I'm out of here. And I've got the vehicle because cancer's going to take me down. And it was like, oh my God, I'm still waiting to die. I'm still wanting to die. And it's like, oh, that's so not what Holy Spirit has in mind. Mm. So I'm just, I'm, and I'm still sitting, this was just this morning, and I'm kind of, my head is blowing up, and I, I know there's more that's going to be revealed, but right now I'm just sitting with, no, I don't want to die. I'm having a great time. Mm. Why would I want to flash out yet? Mm, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful, because I, I feel, you know, we, we're going to dedicate the whole retreat uh, March 2nd through the 4th yeah. to this topic, but we're not really going to analyze what causes sickness because what causes sickness is, like you said, the desire for attack. And whatever we use the body for, we see it as. If we use the body for attack, we see it as sinful and we believe that. If we use the body purely as a channel for for the word of God, for the message of God, then we see it as holy. We do not see it as capable of being sick. And that is about shift of perception. And I think what we are going to focusing on is the solution. And this solution is actually gonna be coming back to how we are gonna live and how we are gonna use the body. Because mm. I think Jesus did say in the course that um, sickness is using the body lovelessness. Loveless, then. Hey. Lovelessly. So but but we do don't we want to know what is using the body mm. lovelessly versus lovingly? You know, do do we use the body lovingly as according to what brings love to our awareness? What brings love to our attitude? Um, does that mean we pamper the body? Does that mean we, we accumulate a lot of material wealth so that we take care of the body physically? Does that mean, does that mean all of that? Or what is truly living or using the body lovingly? How does the practical application look like? You know, there is another, I just, things, Pop, popping up into my awareness now, Jesus actually said, sickness is isolation, and sickness is retreating from your brothers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> Have you ever thought of sickness and separation and the practical um, application of separation is the same as sickness? You know, removing yourself away, not necessarily just to remove yourself physically to live away, but in your mind, every decision you make is to remove yourself from your brothers or, you know, the, diff the, the opposite being bridging the gap to go toward and to realize you are the same. You're here purely to offer um, the love that is, you know, deep inside in your mind to offer that. So that is really our purpose for everything. How is sickness and healing different from anything we talk about in our daily lives in, in this journey of healing? There is no difference, mm -hmm. you know. Sickness is separation, it's isolation, it's wanting to be alone, you know, wanting to create all kinds of bar barriers to be alone. And it's, not trusting. And not trusting, <laughs> not not trusting the greater good, greater plan, you know, the I know mind is everything. But um, I think the, the, the fact that we are, we are with you and we are together in this journey, you know, Calico, you're really walking this pathway of healing. And that's very inspiring. Yeah, and I just want to say one more thing about trust because that was Sunday also. It was um, 
the, the ticket had been purchased, the plan had been made, and then I got sick and I wanted to change the plan. Oh, well, now we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna wait two days until I feel better. And all I kept hearing from Holy Spirit was, are you gonna trust me this time? You know, you know the whole take your bed and walk thing. It's like, you've gotta trust me, you know? Yeah, do, can you figure this out? Can you figure out a way you're gonna take an international flight when you're feeling like all you wanna do is die? No, but I know the plan. I am the plan, you know, trust the plan and walk through it with me. So what happened that day? Did you feel you, you feel better straight away? Or I didn't feel better. That was the thing. No, I didn't feel better. <laughs> not, not in form. It's very odd, and I'm still trying to figure it out, but I can't. Um, I didn't feel better in form, and I woke up the next morning going, it was a prayer. I woke up in prayer. You know, it's like, Holy Spirit, you said you were going to handle this. I'm letting you. And, and it was just every moment, and when I ever thought of form, you know, in the taxi, I remember I was praying in the back seat because I wasn't feeling well, and I was thinking, oh my God, I've got to get the suitcases to the, you know, I mean, all those little details were coming to mind, and I kept going back to Holy Spirit going, you do it, you do it. You said you would carry me through this process, and that's what I'm trusting here completely. And I had a beautiful flight. It was... It was beyond beautiful. I met, I met beautiful people, had extraordinary conversations about God with everybody. I mean, it was like people were walking up to me and told Suzanne, this Pedro from Peru, you know, uh, he came up and said, oh my God, you're so beautiful. And, you know, and then he sat down and said, well, I live in a monastery, which kind of tampered everything, but then it changed to God. And we had this most beautiful, delicious conversation about God. Mm -hmm. And then he went on his way. And the whole trip was like that. And so there were moments I'd go into form and I'd go, oh, scary, scary, you know, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And it's like, pray again, mm. Holy Spirit, mm. it's yours, because mm. I can't do this. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's a miracle. Yes, <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we are really, you know, since the last video on Sunday and probably today as well, we have a lot of questions coming in, practical questions about specific healing and specific um, perception or changes that or applications. And uh, yeah, it feels you can just send your questions in because uh, we are going to spend a whole weekend dedicating to this topic and we have different uh, people who will be holding sessions and talking about that and answering your questions. Yeah, so. we're going to level confusion, David, I hope he's going to go into mm -hmm. level confusion because that's a massive piece. If you're seeing yourself as sick, you've got to, you've got to grapple with this yeah. whole idea. If you think, if you think that the sickness has chosen you instead yeah. of the other You're way around. choosing it. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> and it's an error that needs to be corrected as soon as possible. And David is the clearest person I've ever heard discuss. And he's on a laser beam right now with talking about it. So it's going to be an exciting retreat. And I think there's going to be a lot of miracles and healings that occur with this. And all I can say is if you're in your home right now and lying in bed, this is something you can do join an online retreat. You were not asking you to get out of your pajamas. You know, all you have to do is turn on your, t your computer and watch us for a weekend because there are going to be massive miracles happening out of this. I just, oh, I feel it. I've got goosebumps. I'm just like, yeah. Beautiful. So yeah, we, we invite you to join us. The Calico will be there. I'll be there. David will be there. Jason and many of us. We feel very honored to be able to really go into the topic and uh, share about our journey, practical applications, and uh, you know, we are here aiming to heal the belief in sickness, which is not just about your individual healing, um, individual healing of a particular body. It's it's you know, it's about how you see everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. and one last thing, because you just reminded me, if you're here, if you're seeing yourself here in the illusion. You're sick. <laughs> so everybody's welcome. So everybody's welcome. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, we hope to join you soon. <laughs> Bye.